Hey there, taking a break from all the retro video game and all the hardware modding scene, I dedicated my time to write a little tool called the OPL Themer X, which creates themes for the OPL or the Open PS Tool Order. So people who don't know about OPL, it stands for Open PS Tool Loader, which is a software where you can load uh, apps and backup files on your PlayStation 2. You can actually go uh, through this website where you will know how it all began and what led to the development of the OpenPS 2 loader. I will put this URL in the description. Now the Open PlayStation 2 loader is a marvelous piece of software. You can actually use it to play your backup games from a USB stick or from the internal HDD on the PlayStation 2. Fat editions. Now the best part of the software is that the various themes that you can use to actually show your game lists and this is exactly where my software comes into picture because because by using my software you can actually easily create those custom themes yourself with just a few clicks and simply dragging and dropping the elements to the positions that you need. Now without wasting any more time let me show you what the software does in a live demo. To run the application you simply execute it and it will present you with a UI where you will see the options like load theme, save theme and reset theme. Currently these do not work, I'm still working on them and uh, they currently do not do anything. Apart from that we have the preview navigation controls. So we have the preview window which can be controlled using these four buttons on the top. And uh, if you are aware about the o OPL, uh, it gives you different options and different game list for different type of media that you choose. So if you have games on your USB drive, you can see the list in the USB games uh, mode. And uh, you can nav navigate that list using the left and right button on your controller. Uh, in this case, we can use these buttons on top of the preview window to navigate it and uh, I've currently implemented the four screens which are which come by default recently they have also added a new screen I think called the PlayStation 1 game so I have not yet implemented that but I'll work on that as, as well um, apart from that I have implemented the start button the start button actually switches between the OPL configuration and the game list so as you can see when you hit the start button it takes you to the config menu if you're on the game list and it takes you to the game list if you're on the config menu and the background image of the config menu and the game list uh, view can be can be chosen uh, at will uh, so for example if you want to choose the plasma image so you can choose from this drop down menu over here and if you want to choose uh, for example a picture for your config menu you can actually do that as well so right now uh, the preview window is running in the game list view so if I click on start it will take me to the config menu and as you can see that I have not yet set a menu image this image is it, it shows that the, um, the background image is not set so I can simply go and let's, let's choose an image to show how it looks like so yeah let, let's choose a 480p image so if I choose this it, it shows me that the the menu the config menu options will look like this and let us also choose an image for the game uh, for the game list background uh, mode as well so you can go to picture set image and let's choose this and let's go back to the game list view and yep as you can see the image is over there if you want to show the game background which is a list of images uh, on a per game basis you can do that as well over here or if you want to choose a solid color you can do that as well for example if you want to do it to be black you can do that that is not a problem we have similar options for the config menu background as well if you want to choose a solid color you can do that and it will choose a solid color for you oops that's too bright yeah so so all these items are configurable and um, yeah i have only implemented this for the uh, 4 ratio 3 uh, for now i'm i've i'm yet to work on the 16 ratio 9 high res mode and uh, also have to implement the font selection so that is also on my to-do list 
Apart from that, when you go back to the game list mode view, you can actually choose the images. For example, if you do not like uh, the hard drive image, let's go, let's go to the hard drive view. Yeah, if you don't like the hard drive Im image, then you can choose your own image. You can uh, configure it. I mean, that is what the uh, thing is all about, that you want to create your own themes. So you can choose whatever your image you want. And uh, for example, let's choose this for hard drive and let's choose this for network. So if I go to network, it will show me the new image. And this view is actually uh, what you see, what you get kind of configuration. So if you want to move something, you don't need to change values over here. You can simply drag and drop them. So that is what my initial uh, proof of concept uh, so proof of concept software was all about and uh, it is i want it to be easy to configure and so that themes could be uh, people can make themes really quickly and without much headache they don't they don't have to do all, all these uh, settings manually they just want to do click and drag and drop and click and select and it's done so that is what the concept is here right now and uh, so yeah that's what uh, i have yet uh, i have done up till now and uh, i have uh, only programmed for the first uh, four images i am yet to program for these ones and also i have to write some logic for these uh, x and y fields where you you can just uh, click on it and use the arrow keys to move the uh, the elements over here so i'm still writing that uh yep i think that is all what uh, the software does for now it does not yet load and save theme uh, i'm still uh, yet to write logic for that but i think i'm getting there pretty fast maybe by version 0.6 or 0.8 we will be there uh so yeah i will release this software uh, exclusively on uh, the ps2 hyphen home uh, website so yeah let me just put it up here on screen so as to show you that yep yeah. so this is uh, where, where, where my post is and currently we have the 0.1 version available for download I will put in 0 0.2 uh, very soon I'll just send it to the modders and they can upload it over there yep uh so yeah that is what i had for today uh hope you guys like this video and uh, support this software by downloading it testing it out and uh, you know re re reporting any bugs that, that that you find or any new features that you want me to add to it and uh, it will be my pleasure to do it for you guys so yeah this is how i want to kind of contribute to the retro gaming scene out there and uh, hope you guys like this video and give me a thumbs up if you do and thank you and see you in the next one